Right, calculating percent error. So the formula for percent error looks like this. Take the absolute value of your experimental measurements, your experimental values, minus the accepted value, or the true value, or the theoretically real value, the true value, and that all goes over the accepted value. And multiply by 100 to turn that into a percent. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, the boiling point of pure water, all right, so pure water under standard uh, pressure is, is uh, 100 degrees Celsius. And that's going to be your accepted value. And the measured value, that's measured. So that's going to be your experimental value is right there. And uh, using those two values, you're going to calculate the percent error. Now, uh, truth is, this is this is not a good problem. Um, I don't think they intended it this way. But uh, you really shouldn't be using Celsius. Uh, you should be using another scale, Kelvin, um, at least to do these kind of uh, reactions. Uh, I'm sorry, calculations on percent error. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little more detail as we go on. But for the sake of the lesson and the, and the concept of percent error, we'll just follow. Uh, we'll just play along here. All right. So the experimental value is uh, what was measured, so 99.1 uh, 99 degrees Celsius. And the accepted value, uh, assuming this is on no on Earth and uh, standard pressure, it's 100 water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. All right, so take the absolute value of that, and then put that all all over 100 degrees Celsius, multiply by 100, and, and we'll get our answer. All right, so let's follow uh, significant figure rules. So we'll do 99.1 minus 100. All right, the absolute value of that is going to be uh, 0 0.9 degrees Celsius. This has one significant figure right there. Okay, and we're going to put that all over 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is the defined uh, value. Uh, so that's um, that's not going to, uh, that's going to have unlimited significant figures. So that's not going to restrict your answer. Your answer has to have uh, one significant figure because of this uh, friend right there. All right. So let's, well, uh, you, don't, you don't need a calculator because these are going to cancel out. So it's just going to be 0 0.9 degrees Celsius. Oh, sorry. Celsius is all cancel out too. So it's percent, right? 0.9% is your answer. All right. So one, one more time, the, uh, when you're multiplying or dividing, your final answer uh, has to match the significant number of significant figures as in your uh, least and this is an intermediate calculation, so we'll have to use that instead of one of the earlier, instead of uh, the earlier measurement. That's the only measurement we have, so we shouldn't use three. We should use one because uh, when you're doing a combination of addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division, you have to uh, follow apply sig fig rules at each uh, operation. Um, so now back to what I was saying. This is, uh, you know, somebody. Uh, let's say this. All right, so we know water boils, let's say, at 100 degrees Celsius. All right, that's the boiling point of water. And let's say somebody measured like, uh, all right, you know, let's do this. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, that's the freezing point of water. And let's say somebody measured like one degree Celsius. All right, well, you can't divide by zero, right? So what is that? Uh, this is this is why this problem is uh, I wouldn't say a valid problem because you shouldn't be using uh, the Celsius scale. You should be using the absolute scale, uh, the Kelvin scale, which we will learn about uh, soon in in, a, in our upcoming lesson or two. But for now, uh, we're just playing along here with the lesson on uh, percent error, and this is I'm sure what the the textbook is looking for.